Now let's compare the compressed data we just looked at to sample data. Sample data is coming from the same tags. It's just we're slicing through the data at evenly spaced samples determined by a time interval. So let me show you how you would make that type of retrieval. You would typically use the same, you know, the same tag names, start time and end time. But now, in addition, you're going to provide an interval of time. In this case, for example, 10 minutes. Here's sample data on the ribbon. I'll go ahead and click and make sure I'm, I'm selected where I want my output to go first. I'll click on this. Let me go ahead and put this over here. For the tag name, we'll choose that. Start time and end time, nothing unusual here. This time a new field, time interval. This indicates how we're going to kind of slice through the time doing interpolations on the way. As I said before, we'll discuss filtering later. I'll go ahead and show the timestamps and here's the end result. As you can see, evenly spaced 10 minute intervals. Now since I had reversed the order of my start time and end time, just like in the previous example, this is going backward in time. But of course I can fix that. Let me switch this around to yesterday plus 7 hours to today plus seven hours. And now we're going forward in time again. Let me try to describe some times when this would be useful. Uh, for example, if I'm looking at the compressed data instead of this sample data uh, for a, a given tag, like let's go with BA level dot one. Yeah. Uh, in that 24 hour period, let's go with yesterday to today. In that 24 hour period, I've only got, uh, got a few values that have come in. And if I'd like to compare that to these values here, not much of a comparison I can make because we only have three values, three compressed values. But if I were to, on the other hand, let's just take that. I'll copy that over here, add this 10 minute interval. Now I can make that comparison. I'll choose sample data. There's our tag name, start time, end time, and the interval of 10 minutes. And I'll show the timestamps. And now we have values that are interpolated for, you know, each and every value. For the one tag, we have a value at the same time for the other tags. Uh, in addition, I could even offset this. So for example, if I would anticipate one of these was a leading indicator and the other were a lagging indicator. Let's just switch this to yesterday plus six hours to today plus six hours. Now I've got a set of data that's exactly one hour apart and it could make for a good cross correlation. So there's a number of times where it's kind of useful to have a way to slice through the data uh, in a way that, uh, well, that is producing results that are going to be the same for different variables that are collected at different frequencies, but still maintain an accuracy. You know, given our data compression algorithm, these will still be accurate compared to what data was coming in at the time.